hope you are well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do my straight hair routine for you just because I've washed it and um, I thought it would be good for you to kind of see what I do. It's really, really simple. There's minimal product that I use. So if you'd like to see this video, then keep watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe because it would absolutely make my day. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna start by using the Innocence Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner, just because um, my hair's been a little bit dry recently. So I quite like to just give it some extra moisture. Um, I've been using the Innocence shampoo and conditioner as well um, because they came in my Beauty Heroes box and oh my goodness, they just smell divine. They look amazing in your bathroom. Like this new packaging is awesome. They've just launched it um, this month and I have to say it just looks so beautiful. So um, yeah, so I'm just adding this into the bottom of my hair mainly just because that's where you kind of need the extra moisture and then I'm going to blow dry it in normally I would try and leave it um, just dry naturally but um, yeah I thought I would blow dry it today this is the Remington Silk hair dryer it's not a Dyson I would like a Dyson hair dryer but alas this is what we've got so I just rough dried it and basically I didn't put a parting in there because it normally gives it more volume when I put the parting in later on. So I am going to put in the Organic Colouring Systems Control Thermal 220. This is just a heat spray because I'm going to use my straighteners now. So I love Organic Colouring Systems and I'm just putting that in the ends of my hair. You can put it in um, before you dry. Um, but because I put in the leave-in conditioner, I wanted that to kind of just get into the hair first. Ooh, test. And I'm also going to use my tangle teaser to just get my parting. I'm trying to rock a centre parting at the moment. I'm, like, I basically, I've had my hair in a side parting since I was maybe, maybe 16? What am I now? 33? 34 this year. Oh. So, um, and I just thought I'd try and change it up, change it up a little bit. I never thought I was pretty enough to be able to pull off a centre parting. And for some reason this year, I'm just like, oh, screw it. <laughs> okay, so just brushing my hair through. And then I'm going to go in with my straighteners. But these are just the good old GHDs. Um, I've had them forever and a day and they just seem to work really well. So, and I don't really use a brush either. I just kind of use my fingers to grab some hair and then pull the straightness through. And because I've got the heat spray in there, I don't have to worry too much about my ends drying out. So I have a question for you. What is your favorite hair straightness? Because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about the, um, is it the steam pod? And um, it looks really interesting and I didn't know whether I should be buying it or not. So if any of you have tried it, then um, can you let me know in the comments below? Just because I want to know whether it's worth the investment or not. I'm just going on the inside of my hair as well because I don't know whether you get this, but around your ear you always get like the kind of like extra bits of hair, the new pieces that have come through. And they always just seem to have like, like a little curl by themselves. I try not to brush my hair too much during the week. Um, just because I feel like if I brush it too much, then it um, breaks a lot easier. So um, I don't know whether that's a tip for you or not, but it's what I tend to do. I try and just, once I've straightened it and styled it, I'll leave it for a couple of days and then just wake up and it will be my bed, literally bed head that I have because I don't really brush it. Is that skanky or is it not? Like, I don't really know. I'm sure my friend would tell me I was skunky. So as you can see, I'm not trying to go anywhere near the roots just because I don't want to lose any volume. My hair normally gets a little bit flat, so I have to add the volume in. So when I blow dry it, I don't put the parting in to help with the volume. And then now I'm just not, I'm mainly going for the ends and anywhere there's a bit of curl. And then I just tend to pull it all back and make sure that it's all kind of nice and smooth at the ends. And I really like to try and just have a little bit of volume through here 
So if I um, if I feel like it's too flat, then I'll put some dry shampoo in. Um, normally the Tabitha James Cron um, organic hair dry hair shampoo is really really good for that. Um, she actually even did it in my hair when I was at her place at Christmas. Or was it New Year? New Year, I think. And um, just to give my hair a little bit of bo volume, <laughs> volume, um, and body, she put some in, and it really really worked. So it's not just for It's not just for greasy hair. So I'm just going to put a little bit of product in the ends as well just to kind of keep them hydrated and looking nice. And for that I'm going to be using the Uma Oils Intensely Nourishing Hair Oil. So this stuff just smells amazing. I'm just putting a couple, that was six drops, I just put into my hand. And it just really really helps to keep the frizz away from the ends and make it look healthy and lovely. Uh, ooh, another text message, I'm so popular. And maybe just flatten down the bits that are like that new hair bits coming through. Has anybody noticed that they're starting to get grey hairs? OMG, I have had a couple. I have been pulling them out left, right, and centre. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to do that, but still, oh my goodness, like. So that, my friends, is my straight hair routine. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's really, really simple. It's straight, but it's a little bit messy as well. Um, I'm not really a super sleek person because if I was, then it just look weird. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it would absolutely make my day. And I will see you again on the next video. Yeah.